Hello everyone, welcome back to the Social Shells podcast. In today's podcast, we're going to talk about who you should listen to in order to start your freelance journey or your business and who you shouldn't listen to and really how to find that advice. So this episode is more about mindset and I feel like it's really important, especially nowadays, because you can go online and literally anybody can tell you how to start your business. So you have no idea who to listen to and who not. All right. So when I first started my business, I was lucky enough that I was already surrounded by entrepreneurs and people who had their own business. As you might know, I was living in Bali at a time. I was going to co-working spaces and really I had this entrepreneurial environment that was not only motivating, but really showed me, okay, it's possible. If it's possible for this person, it's possible for me. Compared to when I was living in Europe, and I see this a lot, it depends on the country, obviously, but it's not super entrepreneurial. And I, I believe in the US, it kind of depends on what state you're in. When I'm in California, I always find like it's super entrepreneurial as well, um, and it kind of lifts me up. But when you're in a European country where most people work in a nine to five, and you want to start your own business, and it's really just you, it's not super motivating and right away you start to feel like well should i even do that and what should i do so because we don't know who to ask we probably ask in our closest environment that could be family friends sometimes even the neighbor ultimately we're going to get advice from them whether we ask them or not because people usually like to give their unsolicited opinion so we start something and then maybe some close friend or someone in your family tells you yeah but shouldn't you do it like this or should you really do it but i've heard that you should do it like that or susan from next door does it like this so you start to get confused and maybe you start following that advice as well and it never really works out then you go online and that that's when it really starts because now you have all these different experts telling you what to do and what not to do and i'm not here to tell you who to listen to specifically like listen to this one person because it depends on you what do you want to achieve in your life and in your business and then so actually take some time and think about that what do you want to achieve how do you want your life to look like how should it be when you wake up where are you are you at home with your kids are you traveling how is your work day looking how much money do you want to make what is success to you only you can say that and i'm not saying that <laughs> I don't fall for these traps. I go online and I see other people saying, oh, I have this, this and this. And then I think to myself, oh, maybe I should have all of that in order to be successful. But then really when you take a minute to be with yourself, you realize, oh, but that actually doesn't make me happy. So you wanna think about what you want and what makes you happy. And then the next step is you wanna find people who already have what you want. So you're going to look for people who are living the life that you want. And only from those people can you take advice because they are living proof and they will have the roadmap and they will already have done all the mistakes so they can already tell you what to look out for. Whereas Susan next door, who is working in a nine to five, cannot tell you how to start your own business because she hasn't done that. So that does not only go for your own business, but also for social media. Oh my God, the amount of time people come to me and tell me, yeah, but you should do it like that. Or I've heard from this very popular influencer that you should do it like that. Listen, if you don't actually have living proof, AKA you tried it yourself and it works, 
I don't want to hear it, right? Like if someone has a million followers and tells me how to grow their followers, I would listen to it because they already did it, right? But if someone has 200 followers and tells me that they saw some random online video, mm -mm. so you only listen to people who are actually where you want to be. And that is sometimes really hard because a lot of people mean it well when they give you advice, right? Like they want to help you. Some don't, but let's just assume the world is good and they want to help you and they want to, you to succeed, but they can't know all of that because they haven't walked that path yet. So you want to go to somebody who actually has all of that and what you want. So if you go, and that's like critical, if you go work with a coach or a course creator who tells you how to become a social media manager, how to become a group, freelance graphic designer, whatever, and only does courses, but actually never was successful in that specific area, why would you listen to them? There are so many people who sell courses or do coaching and they actually only make the money from that. They've never walked the path. They cannot tell you how to work with clients and what to look out for because they actually never did work with clients or maybe 10 years ago and it's changed now. So that's something I would look out for as well. So the main takeaway is I would not take advice from my friends and family unless they are actually in a similar situation or have gone that path. And if you do want to have an environment like this, you want to start connecting with people who are in a similar situation. Luckily, you can do that online. You can also go to offline events where you really surround yourself with people who are in a similar situation. Because yes, you can learn from coaches and mentors and it's great, but don't underestimate peer to peer. So somebody who's at the same level as you, you can connect with them and you can brainstorm, you can bounce ideas, and a lot of the times there's a lot of good stuff coming out of these ideas without having to hire somebody or pay a lot of money because just the creativity is there and it's fun. So that would be my other suggestions. And then obviously, again, if you work with somebody, look at if it's the lifestyle that you want. Look at if this person has already done what you want to achieve. So that is for today's mini podcast episode. Let me know below if you have friends or family who tell you what to do. And if you have any other mindset topics or struggles or challenges that come up in your life that you would like me to discuss on this podcast, let me know below. See you in the next episode. Bye.